What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Gala Empire. I hope you guys got a lot accomplished. Of in today's video, I know you see that we're doing the Retro Jordan 11 Cherry review. Let us know how you feel about them. Well, how you feel about them? Man, we Pretty got quick. a lot to talk about, but a brief mm, eh, no. But if you're new here, please don't forget to make sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure to smash that bell every time you post because, guys, we post like this often. And if you want to check out all our content, please don't forget to check us out on social media at Gala Kicks, at Gala Training, and on our website, The Gala Empire. Com to shop with us if you want to cop with us, but let's get right into it. Let's do it. All right, guys, let's get right into it. No skipping around, giving you an up close and personal look of the holiday Jordan 11 Jubilee. I'm not Jubilee, Cherry 11. Oh, <laughs> Cherry 11s, let us know down below what you guys think about them down below and let's get right into it. So first things first, as you guys seen in that preview, you guys already should know how I'm feeling about these. I personally do not like the fact that these are mostly white. The soles are a perfect icy bottom, but they will get dirty after a couple wears. I'm just not feeling the, the this right and red, white and red combination. Right. You know, I feel like this is probably has been the worst Jordan 11 in the past four years. Right. And we've been reselling for five. In the past four years, this has been the worst Jordan 11. So honestly, to me, it's a three out of 10. Wow. What about you? Um, my personal feeling, I feel like they're not that bad when it comes to the look. The only thing I would change is the bottom, making them more black, actually. Change, change the icy blue, make it black. I think that will really pop out instead of having it that will blue. make a difference i feel like that make a really big difference in the shoe but um overall yeah i feel like this is the worst jordan 11 by far when it compared to market because i feel like the jubilees and um what, what else we were talking about the jubilees the, the red, red 11s, 11s the um yeah, the cool grays. Oh yeah, the cool grays was last year. Man, um, let us know which jubilee. Um, oh, I said which jubilee. Let us know which Jordan Eleven do you feel like was the best Eleven so far in the last couple years? Last or five years. Last five years, and also let us know how you feel about this one as well. Exactly, guys. But overall, the the leather, the well, faux leather material on it is not bad. I feel like the toe box is pretty sturdy, so they won't crease easily, which is a good thing for my sneaker heads. And it's simple detail simple designs all over the sneaker as in the Jordan emblem here you got that 11 six um si how you say that logo yeah symbol. the 11 symbol yeah. and then here on the tongue Jordan sign pretty symbol pretty right. same thing as usual on the inside you got that Jordan emblem as well yeah. not much detail to it but your regular Jordan holiday 11 right it does go good with the um colorways of Christmas gives you that Christmas vibe. So I know a lot of people, um, men's was sold out completely. There's still right. some GS if you wanna get some. Um, these are GS as well, so let us know, but we're gonna get right into what the market's talking about. All right, guys, we're gonna go right into it. So if you didn't know, the GS right now is going for 197. Um, I'm not too sure um, the, what the men Retail were price for. were 185 for the GS. Men's retail price was, was what, 225 two, after oh, tax 240. 240, wow. Um, but the buy now for these are 201. So basically retail. Um, and of course, sell now is under retail for these. So I know market not doing too crazy, but we'll see as we get closer to Christmas time if these are going to jump or if these are going to even go even more down as more shoes start coming out. Right, guys. And that's another reason why I'm not really feeling this sneaker is because overall, Holiday 11s are supposed to be the, the, best. the best Jordan of the year. And I see these are still sitting in stores. That's shocking to find because last year, them cool grays. Blue, oh, yeah, man, blue. If you didn't do the crazy. footwork when it's talking about in-store raffle, online raffles, um, first come first serves, you were there camping out days ahead, you lost and you missed out. You had to pay three, three sixty, three eighty for them. Right. So. 
definitely these people were waxing on them but they are not doing as much as we expected them to do on market as right. resellers and i can't believe they're super close to retail and some even under retail so definitely these these are boots for me wow yep. definitely i mean this is very i mean hopefully the, the next 11 is way better than this release or these go up eventually yeah. but we'll give our final thoughts to these let us know what 11 you think is going to be next year because i'm ready for it all right guys coming to the end of this video let us know down below what is your favorite up close and personal detail about these air jordan 11s i know some of you guys are gonna kill us talking about man these are super fire they were everything i was waiting for comment down below why you like them so much i want to know right. and let us know what you rate them one to ten honestly i feel like they could have put more into these into the like more into the detail and the designing of the sneaker right. and it's pretty simple in my opinion but we don't get the best shoes every release right so let us know down below what you guys think what do you think one to ten um one to ten i definitely give these a six i feel like i would need to get the tail with the, with the bottom is a little bit different and also maybe you know something pop out with the laces you know i don't know something with something change give me so, a contrast a little, a little a contrast. contrast yeah that's all i'm asking hey man i think it's a perfect day for a perfect shoe for the christmas day though oh, so yeah. if you plan on taking family pictures or whatever this mm -hmm. is a perfect nice. shoe yes. but overall this is what we got for the Jordan 11. So don't forget to comment down below which 11s you think will be releasing next year, 2024, 2023, mm -hmm. next year, and what you're looking forward to, any sneaker release you're looking forward to for the upcoming year. Right, but but guys, before we go, please don't forget to- Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the channel so you can be post notified every single time that we post, guys. Yes, and check out our Instagram, at Gallicakes, at Gallicakes. Be updated with us all day with about that because we do post often on those platforms. Platforms. Yes, and don't forget to check out our TikTok, The Gala oh, yeah, Empire. Empire. We post on there oh, yes. as well. And our website, thegalaempire.com. Yes. But without further ado, we hope you guys got, got a lot, lot of accomplished. accomplished. And we'll definitely see you in the next one.